We're live, Beats the Alternative. Uh, I am going to thank my viewers right now because some people have already hopped on. This is my second attempt at the stream. The first time, uh, my audio was, was garbage, and so I've restarted the stream. Hopefully, this will work great this time, and we won't have any issues. Uh, I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to log back on, but I'm going to uh, kind of pick up where I left off in the last video. As I was talking about the live stream show I did from YouTube yesterday, or from, sorry, from YouTube, from Facebook yesterday, uh, I decided I was going to put on a Facebook magic show and did it very hastily. It uh, it was okay, but there was a lot that uh, can be done to improve it in future uh, iterations. Um, really, what that told me was that um, there is value in rehearsing something, <laughs> which of course I know, but, uh, you know, uh, it was kind of like, ah, shoot. Yeah, I could probably do that. And then went from that to a couple hours later and then the video's up. Um, what I failed to realize was how different the, um, streaming a magic show would be than doing it live. And so there were issues, uh, a whole bunch of issues along the way. And I've made a lot of notes, gone back over the video many times, and we'll be putting out something of much better quality next time. So um, learning process, it's a new skill set to, to stream a video like a magic show. And um, I, it, it, it does need some improvement. And I've got some very helpful um, tips uh, from some friends and mentors that uh, I think will help improve next live stream that I do on Facebook. Justin and Don are here. Thank you guys very much for showing up. I'm glad the sound's fixed this time around. I found out what had happened is uh, YouTube had defaulted to my uh, MacBook's internal microphone, which is inside my desk. I have a hub, and then everything goes up to my monitor and my uh, microphone and my uh, webcam, and uh, it was going to that internal microphone on there, so it was probably horrible because you were listening to me through a, through a desk through a wooden desk, but now I've got it fixed. It's everything should be working right. Uh, Don says the one I had fooled my wife and the 10 to the lemon. Sweet. Awesome. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoy that. See, uh, that's my favorite way to perform that is it's kind of, it's a bank night and a built lemon, um, like a, a combination of the two of them. And I, I think it's a fun way to combine those two effects and, I like the I like the hand. Uh, um, oh, what am I saying? What am I trying to say? What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, paper shredder. The the handheld paper shredder. Hey, Brad. Thanks for being here. Uh, all is doing pretty good. So thank you for uh, the well wishes. I hope everything is good with you where you are. Justin's uh, leaving me a message right now. He says, "If you want to have some more fun and insight." Oh, he's. You're you're helping me out. Thank you being you're being you're being the uh, the awesome mod. So thank you so much for for helping out, Justin, uh, doing your part to help me out here. Thank you. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. I don't know if everybody on here caught the live stream. I think Brad was there. I know Don was there. Uh, I believe Justin was there too on my Facebook live stream yesterday. Um, I was talking a little bit about that right before I found out the audio was was terrible and had to restart this video. Uh, yeah, there were some issues with that video. Um, going back and watch it, and it's a, it's a, it's a cringe fest, which always happens when I perform. It's very difficult for me to go back and watch a video after I have uh, got some video from a show. So I'm like, oh gosh, that's not. Uh, we need to fix that right away, which is helpful, but also very uncomfortable. And it, even if the show is technically, you know, a, a great show, uh, you know, you're always going to give yourself a hard time. But um, yeah, there's some things that I can improve. I think that this, there's a new skill set with uh, performing in this medium, especially a magic show, which is usually much more interactive and relies on audience interaction and participation and, and, and clapping and laughing and all those things. And you really are performing to an empty room and uh, you know to a camera or something, and you have to imagine the audience in your mind and how they're reacting to everything you're doing. And it did throw me off a lot. Um, I hope that everybody got, uh, you know, ent entertainment and value out of it, but um, I've taken some lessons from that and I'm going to be doing something very different the next uh, Facebook live stream I do. You guys are uh, writing down 
some comments here. So I'm going to take a look over here. Don says, uh, oh, this isn't refer, re, uh, referring to uh, having fooled his wife. Um, she was like, how did he do that? I didn't tell her. It was fun to listen to her guests. Yeah. And that, <laughs> uh, I, I used to have fun with that, with uh, doing magic for my wife. And now she, I, what do I want to say? Because I, I don't want to say this in a way that's going to be interpreted wrong. But she is kind of like she's done with watching me do magic tricks. Like she likes whenever I perform for other people and watching me perform for other people. But as far as like helping out with a trick or watching me do a trick, it's very rare. Um, and I wait until I know something that's just totally going to get her uh, to, to fool her. And it's always a good feeling, but <clears throat> it's much more rare now. So she's been watching me do magic for 10 years. It's kind of like, OK, all right. <laughs> Uh, what else do we have here? We have Brad Newman says, pretty well here. Next time you're home to Michigan, I'd like to buy you a beer. If you're a beer drinker, I am a beer drinker, um, but I only drink beer with flavor. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know what Michigan has anymore. And I, I've gotten spoiled down here in Texas. We have a beer called Shiner. And uh, Shiner is a fabulous beer made out of Shiner, Texas. It's a German uh, brewery that uh, was part of the, uh, a, a, you know, a, a traditional German settlement um china texas and then they have this wonderful beer there that's delicious very full flavored um and wonderful it's my it's my favorite go-to beer although uh speaking of that i have a, f a a fan of this channel who has a brewery in las vegas i should probably get in touch with his name escapes me at the moment but he reached out to me uh, a couple months back and asked me about coming out to the brewery um, to host me for a show and also seeing what other ways we might be able to work together. So maybe this is a good time to do that. Maybe I should get in touch with him. And thank you for the offer. I will take you up on that beer. Thank you. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Brad says, uh, Brad was there. He says he, that I guess the hamster's name, Sylvester the hamster. I remember Sylvester the hamster. What a great name for a hamster too. Uh, for anybody who's joining who wasn't part of the live stream yesterday, uh, Brad, I did a I did a live stream on uh, Facebook, a, a magic show, uh, about a 30, 35 minute show. And uh, Brad was there and he I uh, had him think of a pet whenever he was uh, a kid. And I was going to try to guess that. And uh, he had uh, said uh, Sylvester the hamster. So that's what that's a reference to. Dustin says, my Wi-Fi was terrible, but I was there for the most part. Wonderful. Thank you for being there, Justin. Of course, it was. Uh, it's great to have some of my Magic Minute family over there. I know it's a little weird and off-platform, but uh, I was able to distribute out the video to more people. It just made more sense to do it through Facebook, um, have a lot of my own personal friends and their friends and everything, and it was very easy to get that video shared uh, amongst a large group of people. I think it has like something like a thousand views on that video. Um, just ridiculous. Um, I was really amazed with how quickly that went out. I realized that my social media posts are getting out a lot easier than they usually do because people are so bored. They're like, hey, yeah, here's the thing. We could watch this. Uh, it's And of course, also people have very warm hearts and are knowing what kind of position I'm in and uh, have been trying to help uh, spread the message as uh, far and wide as possible. And it's been just, it's been fabulous. It's been very, very helpful. And I've been very grateful for the response from my friends and family and the community here on, on YouTube. Uh, Adon says, you, uh, you use it for your next 20 year video. Yeah, and, and another 20 years, I'll go back to that live stream and go, hey, look at this. This part sucked. In fact, you know what? It might it might be a good idea to pull that live stream. I think I can do that because it's my live stream. Uh, download it and then go over it and critique it because there is um, a, a lot that needs to be talked about in that live stream. Um, and, some, and maybe some helpful tips for you guys as you are moving forward. Uh, you may find yourself having to do more magic over a camera. And you might run into the same issues that I did, and that might be a that might be a valuable uh, video to do. So, thanks for the suggestion. Two foot giant here. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Hi, two foot giant. Thanks for being here. Uh, Brad Newman says lots of good beer here. I'm a stout guy myself. Uh, I'm 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 getting pretty stout, and I've been married for ten years. I'm starting to get kind of stout there. 
uh, I'm about about 200 pounds now. Well, whenever I went my wife, I was probably about 140. So gained 60 pounds in 10 years. <laughs> That's what happens when you get when you're happy relationship though. You gain weight. So uh, let's see what we got. I want to make sure I'm staying in touch with the comments over here, and I'm I'm addressing you guys. Don uh, says. Uh, speaking of Facebook, how do you get your money from Facebook pay? Does it go straight into your account? Uh, yes, it does. Um, thank you for asking. So uh, give you a full rundown for anybody who wasn't there or for the future, if anybody is looking at this and in, in the comments and my responses to them. Yes. Uh, so I, whenever I did my live stream magic show yesterday, I left it open for people to tip if they wanted to. I had a suggested amount, which was $5. And if people wanted to tip more than that, they could. If they wanted to tip less than that, they could. Um, but that was just kind of like a, hey, look, I am doing this to try to raise money. Uh, you know, if you can chip in, that'd be great. So um, I put that out there and I said, you can do uh, PayPal or uh, Facebook pay as an easy method to do that. And people did, a lot of people did. And I was uh, very grateful for the response. It, um, you know, it was not an insignificant amount of money that uh, that came through because of that. And it's super helpful, especially right now, whenever this is my only source of income at the moment. Um, so that was I was blown away at the response. Um, but uh, uh, PayPal, you know, you if you send a thing, then it goes to a holding account at PayPal, and then you have to ask PayPal to transfer the funds into your account, and then you can either. Um, have that done immediately and that charges you like 1% fee or you can have it transferred in one to three days, which I, I think is, is free. Um, but with Facebook pay, you just have, um, you know, whoever's receiving the money when sending the money, uh, they just have their bank cards connected to it. And so whenever money's sent, it's sent directly like a direct deposit to my bank account. And then I get the money like in 30 minutes and it just shows up. So that was, um, yeah, I, I have uh, all the donations and everything that everybody sent in is already in my bank account, which is fabulous because it was uh, it was looking a little thin. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was, it was very helpful and very wonderful, and I appreciate all of you guys for uh, your donations and your help there. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the program. Uh, there are a lot of glaring problems that I saw. I was on the phone with my mentor today, David Hira. He's um, the reason I wear a red jacket. And uh, he called me and said, hey, look, uh, I love you, bud. But uh, well, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. But uh, there's some things that I think he could improve. And, uh, you know, it. We, we were talking for a while. And he's always so surprised at my willingness to hear criticism. Uh, I guess not everybody he talks to um, welcomes criticism as, as uh, easily or warmly. But, uh, you know, uh, you'd be... You'd be dumb to argue with success. You know, this guy is um, a fabulously successful magician. He's, he's retired now, but um, did extremely well for himself and has a very solid model, comes from a business background and just totally kicked butt in, in the uh, magic world um, for, for a lot of years. And he knows what he's talking about. And uh, for him to take the time out of his day to come in and say, hey, look, uh, you know, you might want to look at some of these things that you're doing and, and seeing if the, we might be able to tweak them or improve them a little bit to get that kind of help or advice. If someone is willing to do that for you, just shut up and, and listen to the advice. That's, <laughs> you know, uh, don't have any ego about it. Uh, you know, if somebody is doing that, they're not doing that for any other reason, but because they care about you. So, um, you know, that's, that, that's, that's my lesson uh, for today that I got from today. Um, so yeah, let's take a look over the comments here and see what we got. Uh, Don says, first time I ever used Facebook pay, it was very easy to use. Glad, uh, thank you, Don. And thank you, of course, for, for your donation for the show. I'm, I'm uh, very grateful for that. Thank you. Uh, Tufa Giant says, uh, can we save your deck after, or we can save your decks after the show. I hand use decks out to the homeless. It's hard to sleep at night when you're homeless. I even show them a basic double uh, once started performing. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I don't know if mine would be helpful if I use a deck up, uh, you know, at the end of the night, I've only got about maybe like 26, 24 cards left because what I do is I have a lot of 
Um, I do a lot of tournament restore it or people sign the card and they keep it. And um, I do not have a, a, a complete deck at the end of the night. Also, right now, I would um, recommend that uh, maybe you look at doing that right now or maybe uh, maybe putting a pause on that. And the reason I say that is if you are not sure where that deck came from, uh, it's it's with all the stuff going on and all the, I'll just use the word, COVID-19, trying to stay away from that because I don't want to talk about that. There's other stuff. That's all you hear about anymore. Um, but it might be um, not a good idea to be giving um, people who are homeless and don't have access to good medical uh, care uh, deck of cards that you don't know where it came from or what's on it. Just a thought. I, I mean, I don't know what your what your situation is and how you're do it, going about that, but maybe something to think about. Um, maybe that the way you do it is totally fine. And but grabbing a you know card or whatever and putting it back. So <clears throat> maybe maybe unless you're just the one using their practice decks or something and you're washing your hands. But the cash cards you don't have to wait. Yes, they do. Uh, I also have that through Square. Square is my normal credit card uh, processor whenever I'm working uh, doing professional. Uh, work um, because I can I can take cards uh, swipes and I can also send invoices and all that kind of stuff and my whole infrastructure is built around Square um, but yeah they also have a card so you don't have to wait and there's no fees for uh, using the cash that way and I might end up doing that at some point um, let's see I'm trying to keep up with the comments Don says that you do realize that you are our mentor there's always a bigger fish, Don. Always a bigger fish. Uh, there are people, um, you know, that um, are so you have to like you, you do it in stair steps. And I'm 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 grateful that that you view me as your mentor, and I do think I have a lot to share and teach. And I think there's still a lot that I need to learn. Um, and so you always have to kind of do this. Hey, what's the the person in that next step of that chain? David is now retired so he's uh as far i mean he's got this wealth of knowledge that uh, that i am still acquiring um some of it through firsthand experience and some of it I'm, I'm grateful to have some of that time and energy and heartache shaved off by his help and advice so um you know it all it all depends and i you know his his advice tends to be more on uh you know uh, marketing and networking and uh, corporate events and how all that works and and uh, how to design your shows to work for those kinds of audiences and that kind of stuff, which is not necessarily what everyone here on this channel needs. Most people on this channel uh, are um, self-identify as hobbyists or beginners, and that requires a whole different type of teacher. So, uh, you know, we're all learning different things. So, uh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I, I can serve that role for you and I take that seriously and I will do my best always to make sure that I am I'm providing the best um, counsel that I can. Uh, uh, Justin says, did you hear about the Illusionist Red Pill Blue Pill sale? What did y'all get? I did not hear about that. I've been living under a proverbial rock. Justin says, I got two gaff system gaff decks and a Deck of Artifice. Ooh, I like the deck. Um, I have the I have the white artifice left. I used to have a black artifice, but I have the white artifice now. At least I think that's is that the art? No, that's not. That's a different one. Oh, what's the other one? It's one with the really fancy uh, ribbon-looking Ace of Spades. Maybe somebody can let me know in the comments. Um, but I I, 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 I have I had a lot of their early decks. I haven't caught I haven't caught up uh, since I got out of collecting decks. Uh, let's catch up here. Um, uh, Two Foot Giant says, I mix uh, decks to make complete decks. Right now, admittedly, is a little more difficult now with the virus. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, yeah, uh, that's that, that would be my... Uh, I think this is about back to my earlier comment about uh, handing out cards and stuff. That's fair. That's, uh, that's fair. It's a, tough, it's a tough, uh, tough call. And I hate throwing away decks of cards. What I end up usually doing is I usually end up holding whatever I have left, if I know they're clean or they're practice decks or whatever, they're just kind of worn out, I'll make my own gaffes with them. Um, um, the Gaffed Academy is a YouTube channel. That's a fantastic place to learn about all kinds of really cool techniques for gaffing your own playing cards. So I would uh, uh, suggest you go take a look over at the Gaffed Academy, G-A-F-F-E-D Academy. Uh, he's got some great uh, videos, and he is, he is a very prolific 
uploader. I think he's uploading like three times a day or something. It's just ridiculous. I had to uh, silence notifications because I was just getting too many from him. Um, uh, Elizabeth Paul's here. Hello, Elizabeth. Thank you for being here tonight. Hope you're doing well. Um, Excuse me. Um, uh, Burn Guru is here. Darn YouTube, always notifying me late. LOL. Uh, you know, another place. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. And um, I, it, it's some other places you can get. As I'm always leaving. If you're not, if you're not subscribed with all of the uh, notifications, that's something you can do to make sure that you're getting those notifications a little earlier. I always give. Um, some kind of warning before I go live on my community page on Facebook and you get those notifications if you have all the notifications enabled. And I also uh, drop a line on the Magic Minute Facebook fan page. And then that way you can, um, you know, maybe get an early alert that I'm going on. But I always try to let people know in, in what those areas that I'm doing that before I go live. Uh, says It says he has a question. Um, it, is that your question down there about the PayPal, or is that you have another question? Let me know. Um, Tufa Giant says, I would also totally not mind trying to set this up after the virus. My goal is to keep them out of the landfill when they ha still have life in them and to give them the homeless to do with something to do. Yeah, a deck of cards is a pretty helpful thing for, uh, for, for mental health. I mean, there's a lot of games you can play either with other people or by yourself. Solitaire is a great option. Poker is fun. Um, yeah, there's a lot of great things. I think a deck of cards is a fabulous thing to give. Um, but, you know, again, at the same point, um, maybe that's something uh, I know that uh, there are lots of organizations that uh, like put together backpacks and care packages for the homeless. Um, and uh, that might be a fabulous thing to to add into one of those backpacks whenever they're handing them out with, with uh, you know, some medical supplies, socks. Uh, underwear, uh, changes of clothes, uh, water bottle, that kind of stuff. Um, might be a good thing to include in there just for, okay, well, here's your body stuff that's covered. Now let's let's take care of your mind as well. Might be a good idea. Burn is here. Uh, let's catch up on, on these comments here. I don't want to get too far behind. Uh, Don asks me, where did you get your red curtain backdrop from? Thank you for the question. Uh, that's actually on extended loan from my friend Joe. He got that originally uh, from Amazon, I believe. I think it's only like $35 or something. It's not too expensive. It's for a pipe and drape um, uh, set. You can get that on uh, on Amazon. I think it's you know, $30, $40 for that. And it's just poles with screws to attach the horizontal poles and little stands. Um, and then the red backdrop is actually just a red uh, jersey uh, finish uh, bed sheet, queen bed sheet because it fit the, the dimensions of that frame about just perfectly. And then it's held up with uh, clothespins to create the pleats in it. Um, so that's what I used. And uh, it it's works perfectly. It's perfectly serviceable for that. That was all the way fully extended uh, but you know, I, maybe I think I had like an eight foot ceiling, eight, eight or nine foot ceiling. And that was always all the way extended up to the top to create that. Uh, it, it, it worked pretty great. I just didn't want to do the thing. Cause I know a lot of live streamers have been just, Hey, look at my background while I'm doing this magic show and everything. I wanted it to be an experience. And so I had my studio lights out and I had the backdrop and I had uh, my professional microphone plugged into my phone on a tripod. My friend Joe was, uh, you know, managing that. And I was just trying to give it, give it as much of a polish as I could. And I think that, uh, you know, again, going back to what I said earlier, um, I think that there's still a lot to be done. I think I need to learn some new skills and I have some new information from actually doing it um, that, that will inform how I go about more videos in the future. Something important is normally what you should do is you should, uh, try to rehearse all of that stuff using all of the technology um, and performing in that format before you turn on the camera or actually go ahead and do it. I broke a rule there and uh, just went, okay, well, I'm not going to do any tricks that really require any deep participation or anybody to come up on stage. Um, anything else I can do interact through 
the comments section with the help of my friend Joe reading the comments to me. And I thought that was going to be good enough. It really wasn't. I think that there's, I can do a lot better and I plan to on my next video. Uh, if you want more information about whenever I go and do my, my second live stream show, that's going to be a close up show. I'm almost hundred percent positive. I'm going to do be doing a, a close up show. Um, and uh, if you want to learn more about that, stay tuned to the Facebook uh, Magic Minute uh, fan page because I'm going to have updates about that as it progresses. So let's where you can find about that if you want to come, if you want to catch a live show again. Let me catch up with what everybody's saying because we got a. I'm going really fast, or you guys are going really fast. Here. Um, do do do. It says PayPal is a cash card that is attached to your PayPal account. You can use your money right away. Mm -hmm, that he's right. Um, I Burn says I used to do stuff in those uh, in need for free, and when we uh, the team we did this, even got sued by those who were trying to help. <laughs> that's bizarre, isn't it? That's like that's like a story I read today about um, some company, or I guess some friends or something had a three D printer and were able to model a different type of valve to fit on a respirator um, for for use by emergency medical uh, technicians right now to to open up more um, uh, machines for people in an emergency but it was modified part based on a, a patent that another company held and there's a lawsuit pending on that and it's like well Yes, did you guys kind of replicate a patented uh, product? Yeah, but it's a state of emergency and you guys couldn't make them fast enough. And like maybe there should have been more communication there before they just went ahead and did it. But I, I don't know how that's going to play out. Uh, hopefully those guys don't get in too much trouble or any trouble um, and they can just work it out because, uh, yeah, it's like uh, they were helping people because they made those more people are going to live. So why are you suing me? <laughs> like, you know, but the world's a funny place. Um, uh, Burn says, uh, I don't check social media while I'm studying. Sorry, but since I use YouTube, I get the notifications when you're live. All right, fabulous. It says he was not ready for my question. <laughs> well, if you get ready, let me know. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Uh, Justin says I set my alarm for 9.50. All right, all right. Uh, Elizabeth says I get them when it happens. I think I'm too far behind in to know what you're making a reference to, uh, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. Uh, Burn says I'm tempted to buy that trick where you change your clothes into in a second, mainly because of the tutorials I saw here on YouTube were lame AF. I think you're talking about uh, Dress Code by Kaylin Morelli. It's worth the money. Just go buy it. It's fabulous. Um, I've, I've used that. I used that uh, very trick actually when helping promote. My brother-in-law has a band called uh, The Royal Sons and they have, I think, two albums out now. They're a fabulous band. Um, I, I, and I enjoy their music, whether or not I, you know, the, one of the members was my brother-in-law. But um, they asked me to come do a show at their album release party. Uh, this was last year. And as part of the um, promotional material that I, that I helped them put out. Uh, I did that, you know, I, it was just in a regular, uh, shirt and then turned around and then it was the Royal Suns t-shirt. And, um, that was pretty cool. That was a way to kind of add a little bit of magic flair to their, their, um, uh, media or marketing materials. So yeah, uh, it's a fabulous trick. Uh, go buy it. You won't be disappointed. It's great. So uh, da, da, da. let's see. Um, Justin says, if you guys want to have some extra fun and insight, come join us on the Facebook. If you want to help a guy out, support channel. Oh, thank you, uh, Justin. You're, you're, you're sharing my, uh, sharing my stuff again. Thank you. Um, yeah. And Justin, what he's telling me, telling you guys about, yeah, I have, uh, some stuff out, uh, for sale. Um, you know, I don't want to turn everything. I, I think I have, um, pretty much, uh, done, uh, taxed the, 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 the very limit of what I can ask anybody else watching right now for, um, uh, there was a very generous response and I, this is a, in reference to a video I made on Monday. Anyway, I put out a video 
uh, not in the not too uh, distant future where I let everybody know what was happening with the events industry stopping and I kind of grinding to a halt. And then the restaurant industry, which I called it right before it happened, that uh, that was going to uh, just completely stop. And, uh, you know, and I was right because I saw where it was going and I understood what was uh, what was likely to happen. And uh, the restaurant was kind of my regular stable place that I earned some kind of regular predictable income and also was able to market myself. And then I did the corporate events or really any kind of events. Corporate is a big, big focus for me. But, you know, pick up all kinds of different events from, um, you know, for the spring season and everything just stopped. And, uh, well, I don't have any income coming in right now. I'm not doing any shows. And that's really sucky to be in a position like in one week, uh, all of the shows that you had booked just drop out completely and then go, well, great. Uh, you guys, you're going to be out of work and we don't know for how long. And then just keep stretching week to week to week. Um, and so I put out a video plea um, asking uh, people if, if they were in a position to donate, if they would please. And um, and then also left um, where you could join Patreon and Teespring and or pick up a T-shirt from Teespring. This is my Teespring Magic Minute shirt representing tonight. Um, it's starting to I've, it's been through several washes and it's starting to get like this cool kind of vintage look. So I like that. Um, but uh, it's been through probably 30 or 40 washes now. I just wash it like I, I, I wear it out this video. And every you guys responded in force. Uh, I had people who were who joined my my Patreon and then upped their subscription level. I had people who donated uh, very significant sums of money, which was um, extremely humbling. I had people pick up T-shirts, so they're representing the Magic Minute now. What's up? Just an amazing response, and I uh, am very grateful and very humbled by that. And uh, you guys really, really came through for me and really helped me out. So um, thank you. And this is not the end that, of the thank yous. That I'm actually putting together a video as time and curfew and quarantine allows. Um, putting together something special as a thank you video for you guys. Okay. So know that's coming and that I greatly appreciate the help you guys offered uh, in my time of need. Um, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead back go back to the comments. What do we got here? Uh, I think Burn says, uh, or I'm sorry, let me I'm going I'm, I'm going uh, forward a little bit too far. Don asks me, uh, will you do it on a table for the close-up show? I intend to. Yeah, I, what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be and you know, I'm gonna tell you guys here what I'm kind of imagining. I don't know if I can get the technology to work for this. I'm going to try my best, but my what I see in my head right now is actually getting a couple of people who um, have the ability to uh, either Facebook uh, or not Facebook FaceTime me or Skype call me, and then I'll have a couple of iPads set up, and then it'll have their face on the screen, and so it'll be like you know I'll have these propped up, and then you'll have like faces of of different I don't know how I'm going to choose that, but different audience members. Uh, who will represent my in-person audience, and then uh, maybe just one person. Uh, I'll, I don't know how I'll do that selection process, but they'll FaceTime me in, and they'll be there with me through the show, and I'll be able to interact like I had a host or I had like a co-host there, or somebody who can be a human that I can interact with in some capacity and kind of be an extension of the rest of the audience. Uh, watching at home. And that's kind of my idea right now is to do that. And so of course I'm having to design the show and then and then test it and and all the technology and work through how all the tricks are going to work. And so it's it's a huge undertaking, but I think it's going to provide a, a really different and kind of cool um, uh, feel to the show. And I can't I can't take total credit for coming up with the face uh, time calling in thing. I watched a modern robe uh, episode today. Uh, where um, Brian Brushwood had uh, Jason Murphy on uh, his head or the the tablet stuck to a mannequin's uh, head, where they could uh, where they could interact. It was kind of like Jason was there. It was kind of funny, and then also a conversation I had with David Hyra where he suggested that um, I have an Ed McMahon to my uh, uh, you know uh, gosh Johnny Carson. 
<clears throat> so I think that's the right way to go. I think having a co-host or somebody, another person to interact with on screen uh, will help improve the chemistry and, 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 and fill out what I felt was kind of missing from, from my last live stream. So that's the idea right now. You guys are the first to hear it. Um, that's where we're going. Um, let's see where else we got. Uh, we got Elizabeth says, the only trick that I know how to do is on my Instagram, and I don't know any more tricks. Well, hey, uh, you know, the good news about that, uh, Elizabeth, is you are in the right place because there's a whole back catalog of videos uh, that I where I've taught not just technique, but taught full tricks. And you can also go over to Scam Nation, and uh, you can watch anything over there, which is great, but especially my uh, episodes. <laughs> Definitely check out the other videos on this channel because I have some, uh, I, I have playlists based on coin magic, uh, magic with just random household stuff, uh, you know, coins, cards, rubber bands. Now I'm adding to the to the mix. Um, I've I've added a lot. In fact, uh, yesterday's video when that went up, it was on some really easy rubber band tricks that, that just about anybody can do, um, uh, with just giving a little practice. So you're in the right place to learn more. So. Uh, and I did see your Instagram video, and that's why you won the Sherpa pen cover and uh, did a fabulous job. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you can go over to my uh, my Instagram, the Magic Minute Instagram, and you can see the submissions, and you can see Elizabeth's submission that she did a, a pick a card, find a card trick for her teacher, and it was awesome. And so uh, she put a lot of effort in that, and she uh, definitely deserved a win. So uh, definitely go check that out if you haven't. And also, uh, you know, go ahead and, and follow me there. That'd be great, too. You know. What else do we have? Uh, it says, got to go to work. Uh, got to work on that, Justin. Oh, what's that? Justin, I think it was pro probably a, re a reference to something that got redacted. I don't know what that was. I think I missed out on that conversation. Let's keep going because I'm falling behind in the comments here. Uh, da -da -da. Burn says... Would be really nice if you had a Discord server. Have it behind a one-time two-dollar paywall, like you some YouTubers do, because I wanted to post something on the Facebook page and I couldn't. I'm gonna have to look at how Discord works. I know that Brian uses it to great effect. Uh, you know, there's something that he calls the Discord Squad or whatever, and they're the first ones to know when a video is about to drop because he doesn't do it at the same time uh, every day. Um, I need to learn more about that. So. Burn, thank you for bringing that to my attention. I've got nothing but time, so I can spend some learning that. Um, I need a, I need a primer on that. Uh, Justin says, Eliz uh, at Elizabeth Paul, here are a few playlists of Alan's. Ooh, ooh yeah, dress code, Alan's channel. Oh, Justin, thank you for sharing the uh, playlists. That's very helpful. Appreciate you. Thanks for helping Elizabeth out. Burn says, if we spam magic sites with requests to sponsor you with discount codes, Will that help or work? Probably not. It might just piss people off. <laughs> uh, you know, if you guys want to help, if you guys want to help me um, grow this channel, things that you can do are you can remember to leave comments. Uh, you can thumbs up videos if you like them. Thumbs down them too. That actually, it still shows interaction. I prefer you thumbed them up, thumbed up them if you liked them. Um, and then also sharing it on your own social media. If you have like a, hey, look, my, uh, you know, I watch this channel. I like it, whatever. I learned this cool trick or whatever. Um, or if you're a member of uh, Reddit, that's a big one. R slash magic is something I, I do not have enough karma. I, I um, was not a big person uh, into Reddit until recently. I'm starting to learn about it. A lot of other people are way bigger into it. I think. Um, Chris Ramsey built his entire audience or nearly his entire audience in the beginning through r slash reddit uh, and or, or r slash magic at reddit um, I don't have nearly enough karma to do anything but if somebody else can get in there and has karma and can uh, share um, some kind of video that they like of mine that would go a long way towards helping me so it uh, gets uh, my videos and my channel out to a much larger audience until I can build my my karma up to start commenting myself, um, but yeah, sharing sharing this on social media—that's how you—that's how you help me. That's how you help get this uh, this stuff out to more people. Um, the more subbers that I have, um, of course, the faster I accrue watch time, which means that I get monetized faster. Which means that um, I can make more money off of YouTube, which was always helpful, especially right now. 
Um, and that also means that I have a better chance of getting people to want to sponsor videos. Um, the thing is, is I'm too small right now for most people to give me a second look. Uh, I really need to be like in the 10,000 subscriber or higher category for, for magic manufacturers and retailers to want to consider sending me merch to review or uh, sponsoring a video or any of that kind of stuff. I really need just a, you know some more subscribers under, under my uh, umbrella here for them to take me seriously. So share it out. That's how, that's how you help me. Uh, every chance you get that's super 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 helpful uh but thanks for the question burn burn says request oh I hate my keyboard okay uh <laughs> uh Dustin says it may just make alan look bad yeah yeah there's no such thing as bad publicity well yeah madonna said that but uh, i don't know uh <laughs> i tend to disagree <laughs> Uh, I think at a certain point, there's no such thing as bad publicity. I think you have to have re, re, um, live in a certain mind space with uh, with individuals uh, before you can claim that. I um, have not gotten started far enough yet for people to forgive me for things. So, um, uh, Burn says, I hope I can get a shirt next month. At the moment, I am broke, too. Uh Yep, <laughs> that, that explains the, the basically the whole country here. Right? <laughs> I think we're all we're, we're, a, a huge portion of us are, are just totally uh, not in a good spot. And thank you for the sentiments. And um, I hope that that situation improves for you, Burn. Okay, thank you. And thank you for, for your sentiments. I really appreciate that. Jane C. Milliker's here. He says, hey, Alan, it's crazy. Uh, all my scheduled appearances and teaching gigs are gone until May. Yeah. I'm there too, and it might longer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, now, what I've been doing is, I, and this might be helpful to you, is I've been doing live shows on Facebook, and people are really into wanting to see that right now. They are tuning into all kinds of live streams. There's a great one called Quarantined Cabaret that you can check out. It's fabulous. Lots of uh, lots of really crazy, interesting stuff going on over there right now. That's on Facebook. It's a Facebook page or group. Um, and I've also been taking to teaching magic lessons uh, through Skype. And that has been going fabulously, too. Uh, I say fabulously is in that I have uh, uh, like three prospective people and two already paying customers. So um, does it replace my income from where I was? Absolutely not. But um, I'm going uh, through that route. And I've also uh, got in touch with the local children's magazine and let them know about my story and what I'm doing. And I believe that I will be in touch with them soon and we'll be uh, make, maybe doing a story about it. This is the time to uh, build up those connections, maintain friendships, check in on people who uh, maybe you haven't talked to in a while or that you wanted to, uh, you know, everybody, whenever you, whenever you're reaching out on LinkedIn or you're doing the thing you're always wanting to try to find some kind of some kind of bridge you know you don't want to marry them at, at first, it's a first date not a marriage so you always want to have that little bridge that you can get to to start a conversation um uh there is nothing that's affecting everybody more right now than this and the top of everybody's mind and uh this is a time to you know uh, invest it back into your business, into, into your relationships in your business. So that's what I would suggest that you look at doing. If you got to have some, some kind of cash flow, the, the magic lessons have been um, pretty popular. I just put up a post on Facebook and asked people to share it, and they did, and it's been all over the place now, and I've got some bites from that. And then also the magic show live streams. People are all needing to be entertained right now. That's their jobs as magicians. Make the world smile. And so that doesn't stop just because we're all stuck inside. Um, so there are some revenue streams that I've found that are working. And uh, I would in, uh, encourage you to uh, go do that yourself. Okay. Uh, that's a fabulous way to do a thing, some kind of stream, even if it's just talking about whatever and say, hey, look, I'm taking donations right now. Today I'm going to be kind of, you know, doing a QA if you have fans or something. That's a fabulous way to do it. Just say, the one thing you don't want to do, and this is something I, uh, for for anybody who's thinking about streaming for donations right now, something you do not want to do is don't uh, say, hey, look, come to my free show. It's a show. It's free. You can come watch my magic show online for free right now. And then at the end of it, say, hey, 
if you want to leave me a donation, you can do da 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 Not cool. That's a bait and switch. Uh, if you're going to promote it out, you need to tell everybody up front what you are expecting from them. Um, it didn't hurt me at all. In fact, it probably hurt me and put or helped me and put me in a better position than someone who had did the opposite. I heard a story, and I won't name any names, but I heard a story about somebody who did exactly what I said not to do. They went, hey, look at my free magic show. They did it, and then they charged at the end when nobody thought, when everybody's like, wait, this was supposed to be a free show, and just made the whole audience feel bad and ended the whole thing on a really down note. And nobody, nobody tipped. Uh, where as I said, hey, look, here's what I'm doing. I'm putting up a show. I'm doing this to raise money because all my gigs are canceled. Suggested amount is five dollars. Um, if you have to do, if you can do more, great. If you have to do less, totally understand. We're all in a situation right now. But um, you know, I am trying to uh, make some money with the show. I hope you guys come join me. Boom, and then I put it out there, and uh, people responded uh, very well. I, I did um, much better than I anticipated for that. So I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Um, something to think about, but there are some other revenue streams. And if you want to connect with me, um, you know, uh, JNC Milliker, if you want to connect with me on the Facebook fan page, drop me a message or something. I'll be happy to kind of talk through what I found are the do's and don'ts of, of live streaming a magic show on, on YouTube. Cause I've learned a lot of lessons from my, from my uh, show last night and I'm still learning more as I'm, as I'm rehashing it and getting other points of view. Um, my show last night was not a perfect show, far from. Uh, it was done on, a, uh, on I want to say on a lark, but it was done with, with z practically zero preparation. And um, there's a lot I could have improved. I'd like to help you avoid those uh, pitfalls if you decide to do that. But please feel free to get in touch with me over at the Facebook Magic Minute uh, page. Justin has been, my wonderful moderator has been leaving links to that in the comments. Let's go ahead and continue on and see where we are. Uh, have Justin, have Justin be your uh, audience. Oh, you mean for the for the close up? Uh, maybe, but I don't want to get a magician. That's the thing. I don't want to get a magician to help me. I need a, I need a lay person. I need somebody who hasn't seen this before and can give me an honest reaction. Um, yeah, but. But not a not a bad idea. Uh, maybe for my for my trial or for my my dry run to to make sure everything's working, so that way I have a um, a critical eye helping me uh, catch things that I wouldn't catch. That might be a good idea. Uh, let's see. Let's see where we're going. Guys, you guys are so fast with all your messages here. Um, you need a larger TV. I me I I need a larger TV. No, I I I'm I don't think my wife will let me get a larger TV than I've got. Uh, yeah, I I tried to talk her into it when we bought the one in the living room because they're so cheap now. You know, there you go. Hell, three hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Well, it's a lot of money. Um, you know, in relative terms, but like you know, like if you're buying like a like a sixty inch flat screen like you know that you can hang on a wall that has 4K and is internet enabled. Three hundred dollars is not that much for that. When you imagine like you know whenever you used to used to buy those rear projection giant televisions um that weren't much larger or about the same size as the television I have in the living room, you know, those two thousand, three thousand dollars and that's in like nineteen nineties money, you know, with the rate of inflation, that's a, that's a man, TVs have gotten cheap. Uh, I don't need. Uh, I I don't need. Nor do I think my wife would allow me to have a larger television. Uh, to, 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 where are we at? Where are we at here? I'm trying to catch up. Uh, Elizabeth says uh, my school is going to start online school next week. Ugh. You know, I I heard a funny uh, talk about uh, schools and and you know th th trying to move to an online system and that's that's uh, something my friend joe said to me the other day he's like teachers are trying to fly an airplane they're still building uh <laughs> i think that's a perfect a perfect metaphor for what's happening right now it's it's very difficult and people are working so hard to uh, make sure that people are safe and that uh they that you guys are still getting um the things that you need and so I'm I'm thankful that they are working very hard to move you into a position where you're going to be a safer environment uh, to learn, and um, give give them uh, your love and respect for 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 working so hard for you behind the scenes to make sure that can happen. Okay, 
Uh, Burn Guru says, uh, sounds like a really cool idea. I hope it works out as planned. Thank you. I hope so too. Uh, Jane C. Milliker hosted a live stream earlier tonight. Went well, hoping I can at least keep myself in the mind of my customers. Yeah, you know, again, um, you know, the, the videos are great, and I want I want to check out your 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 video there, um, if I can find it. Um, but you know, call them, see how they're doing, see if they need anything. You know, um, remember, I I I try. For right or for wrong, there are going to be people who disagree with me and, and people that do agree with me. But I always think of the people that I, I want I want to have friends first, right? They're, they're business friends, right? They're um, people who we came together because of business reasons. But that doesn't mean that they aren't actual real friends. They're real friends. So check in on them. Call them. Hey, how you doing? How's everything going? Especially if they're in the events industry right now, they're all hurting. Um, they're not in a position to hire you right now, but uh, you're in a position to be human to them and see if they need anything or if there's anything you can do or offer some encouragement, make them laugh. Um, that will that will that will stick with them that you are that you're checking in and seeing how they're doing because guess what that other magician down the street is not doing that. They're just freaking out and worried about themselves. Um, you know, stay in touch with them. Stay in touch. Uh, Still, if they're if they're having birthdays or something, if you I don't know I don't know what type of um, uh, magic you do or who your clientele is, but you know if somebody's got a birthday coming up or something, it's a really crummy time right now. Maybe send them a little magic kit, you know, a little dollar magic kit doesn't cost much, and we'll let people know that you're thinking about them still. And um, don't know, yeah, there's 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 things you can do, just little touch points, make sure they're doing okay. Um, it says you can get Skype for your computer, then you use a second monitor and place it behind you. Oh, oh that's an interesting idea. I'll, I'll have to uh, I'll have to ruminate upon that. Uh, Two foot giant says uh, get Simon Geertz on to send the robotic arm for when someone has to pick a card. <laughs> or Simone Simone Geertz. I don't know who that is. I, I'm going to have to uh, probably fill in a gap of knowledge to to uh, understand what what you're telling me about. Sorry, two foot. Uh, Justin says, LOL, Liz, I have been homeschooled forever. I'm an introvert at, by nature. This quarantine is just another day. You know, what's funny is that um, I was homeschooled. Anybody know that? Uh, I'd be curious to know if anybody uh, would have even guessed that I was homeschooled. Uh, I turned out okay, I think. And everybody, everybody goes, oh, are they getting enough socialization? Are they doing... I'm a, I'm a magician for a living. Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I turned out all right. <laughs> I can relate to other people just fine. <laughs> I want to uh, say that magic had a huge part in that because it forced me to talk to people and get comfortable talking to people. Because I used to be extremely introverted. But um, yeah, no, uh, homeschool homeschool is awesome. Uh, um, JC Milliker says, "I love the rubber band ring trick." Well, I'm glad you like it. Uh, that's uh, I you know I wanted to add that in there. I know like a lot of people have already seen it, but a lot of people haven't. And my mindset whenever I'm uh, doing these videos is like, look, I have to assume that there's someone out there who's never seen this video before, who's never seen this trick before, has no idea it exists. Uh, it's amazing that I've come to Brian with um, with tricks uh, for scam nation that he's never seen before. You know he's he's you know. He's not he's not old, but he's older than I am, and uh, been in the art thereby uh, by extension longer than I have been, and is very well read. And there's stuff I've showed him that's that he's like I've never seen that before. What is that? And um, yeah, it's the, I, so I have to assume that like when I make a video, it's not going to be for everybody because I can't possibly uh, figure out what everyone already knows and then just show stuff they don't. Uh, so I have to make videos that uh, sometimes, yeah, seen it, know it, been there, done that, and you know that might happen for for a good people, a group of people in the audience. But I can't know that beforehand, and those videos will exist up uh, on YouTube forever, and um, so somebody will come across it not knowing what all those things are. So yeah, I know I, I noticed that my view numbers weren't as great this past uh, or yesterday as some of the other videos I've put out. Um, in in uh, past weeks, but you know you just you have to you have to try to balance 
what I'm putting out and, and for what audience and, and trying to do that. So it's, it's, it's always a constant struggle uh, internally. And I just go, well, you know what? There's somebody who doesn't know it. And this video is for them. Hopefully everybody else got some entertainment value out of it at least. And that's kind of my approach. Uh, let's see. Let's catch up. You guys are going so fast. I can barely stay up with you. Um, do, 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 do. Um, my goodness, guys, this is, this is, you guys are so, I'm so far back here. Um, JNC Milliker, I'd love to know what percentage of people didn't know how to do the rubber band gun. Yeah, me too. Um, it's amazing. Just in my own uh, anecdotal evidence, I've, I've ran into people, lots of people that have gone, oh, I've never seen that before. That's cool. And I was like, okay, well, it's going in then. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I don't do extensive studies or polling beforehand uh, for each effect that I decided I'm going to put in there. But, it, it, you know, one of the three, it's a nice round number. Enough people haven't seen that. It's not strictly magic, but, you know, to borrow a phrase from a movie I'm not very fond of, being a magician means you got to be the coolest person. Or I think it was the smartest person in the room, but the coolest person in the room. You got to be the most fun person in the room. Uh, so, you know, if that's knowing how to shoot a rubber band like a gun, you know, that's a, oh, I know that cute little weird knowledge thing. Magicians accrue that kind of stuff. It's not, it's not, they're like, there's like this weird area where it's not, not really magic tricks and it's not really puzzles or riddles. There's like this other weird, like just a neat way to do something, a novel way to do something or a, a weird property property of a material that you know about, or if you do this just the right way, this knot does that. Um, magicians kind of gather that to ourselves, right? All those weird little pieces of trivial knowledge and and uh, errata. And uh, I, I, the rubber band gun is one of them. And so I figured, well, heck, I'm going to put that up. You know, whatever. That we, it's fun. You know, does it is it magic? No, but it's fun. Um. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we have. Do, do, do. Burn says top tens or fives or whatever are good clickbaits. They are. Yeah, top whatevers. They are. They are they're good clickbaits. But I also want to make sure that I'm delivering on the promise. I don't want to go, here's the top sub, but then, but then. And then, and then say, well, I actually only had three. I've seen, I've seen YouTubers do this. They're like, well, I actually have three, but top five sounds better. It's like, you lied to me. You lied. So I didn't have I didn't have I didn't have a top five for that. I had a top three, the three that I really thought should go in there. So yeah, that's what I did. GNC Milliker says, reach out to other affected creators and collab, especially other creators too small to get in some of that YouTube pie, not just magicians, maybe a DIYer to make a magic prop. It's interesting, GNC Milliker, that you that you say this because I'm actually talking with a couple of people who are on the stream and some who are not um, to try and do something. There's a great friend of this channel, uh, Minnie, uh, you know, or Muniz. Um, she is a, a fabulous lady and, and a great friend and a very generous, warm, uh, caring person. And uh, she was on my live stream last night and is she's, has, she's not here because she works nights. So she's not here on the live stream. She's going to comment tomorrow, basically. Uh, almost guaranteed. So, hi, Minnie. Thanks for uh, checking us out an hour in. If you got this far, uh, hope you had a had a good work shift. Um, but uh, she's a fabulous artist, and I have not reached out to you yet, Minnie. But uh, you know, I've seen some of your artwork. It's beautiful, and I want to get in touch with you. I'm also talking with uh, with it and Roth Games. Uh, they they have. Um, uh, leather working skills, Cedric Lancy, uh, an old friend of mine from the magic shop back in uh, McKinney, who also watches this channel. Um, he's also a leather worker. So I want to get like the leather workers together, the 3D modelers and printer people together, the artists together. We have a very rich talent base here in the community. And it feels like there's got to be something we can all do and collaborate together on and make some kind of something awesome. So I, I don't know what that is yet. Um, I'm open to ideas if you have them, in kind of combining all of those different disciplines together. I'm starting to kind of work out thoughts in my head about what that might be, but it seems like there's too much talent here not to have everybody do something awesome. So 
yeah i hope that uh i uh, hope that answers your question uh or your, your comment uh jnc milliker as far as finding other channels to collaborate with um trying to find local ones is so tough i've looked into a couple of websites that are supposed to help you like connect with other local youtubers that are a similar size to yours or whatever i have had a very hard time finding uh any anybody in my local area i think the closest is dc magic girl but she lives way out the other way like three four hours i might as well be going to do a scam nation episode if i'm gonna if i'm gonna visit her and do a collab we're supposed to do a collaboration at uh um taom whenever i perform there because she's also performing there she was actually signed before i was and um we're supposed to do something we're talking about doing some kind of collab there so yeah, it's tough. I don't know if you guys know of any other channels that are based in the Dallas Fort Worth area that are about my size. That seems like a good fit. I would love a suggestion. You can leave me a comment over on the Facebook uh, fan page, the Magic Meta Facebook fan page. If you need a link. You can find one somewhere here because Justin has been doing his amazing uh, moderator job, and you'll be able to find that. Um, connect with me uh, there. Um, uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, Elizabeth Paul says, JC, I'm a small YouTube channel. Yes, you are. Um, I, I have checked out your channel, and it's awesome. I love it. You do like a lot of blog uh, type content. And Elizabeth Paul does some really cool blog stuff, and you should definitely go check out her channel if you haven't. Um, she's somebody I actually met at a um, at uh, 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 restaurant that I perform at, and she was there, and I, I interacted with her, and um, had a great time, and she's been wonderful and wanted to stay on and see what I'm about after the fact. So go check out her channel if you have not. Okay. And leave her a like, give her a comment and help her out. Um, let's see what we got here. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to catch up with you guys' comments. You guys are so fast. I guess I should have explained the use of a larger TV and the second monitor display your guest on Skype. Oh, it. Yes. Okay. I guess I should have explained the use of a larger TV. I meant to use a second monitor display your guest on Skype. Yes, that, that does make a difference. <laughs> I, see, I'm doing this thing where I'm like trying to read the comments, but you guys are so way ahead of me and I'm just trying to catch up. I'm going to have to start skipping ahead uh, and just missing some comments just to make sure I'm staying relevant with everybody. But yeah, I think that's a. I think that might be a valid way to do that. I think I could do that through my computer, up to a television, and no problem. I might do that. Uh, da, da, da. I'm gonna skip ahead, guys. If you left me a question or something, I'm sorry, um, um, Justin. If you would, if I'm if I'm getting if there's a good question that I have not been able to get to because I'm just inundated with comments, if you could leave me, um, you know, a selection of, of of questions or comments for me to respond to. That would help me catch up. Um, I know I'm asking you this right now, so don't like panic and like go all the way all the way back and everything. But if uh, moving forward, if you could grab some of the more pertinent or interesting questions or comments, so I can comment on them, that would be really helpful. I have a list of those to to um, touch on. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to catch up, guys. Um, <laughs> and I am moderator all of, over all of them. <laughs> um, oh, hey, Minnie, this is for you, too, because I know you're going to be watching later. Okay, I haven't done this in a little while. And Chocolate rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. Move my face away from the mic so I breathe in. Chocolate rain. There you go. That's that's Minnie's favorite, so I do that every once in a while. <laughs> Fans, is there? <coughs> oh, fan service. Um, Burn says, uh, Burn uh, Guru says, I'm starting into pyro painting. I don't know the name in English. Doing drawings in wood with a heated metal piece. Uh, wood burning. We call that wood burning. Uh, it's a very clever and uh, secret name shrouded in mystery. And, and, and uh, nah, 
it, we just call it wood burning. Yeah, it's like you use like a like a soldering iron almost to to burn pictures into into wood. You know, there's also a really interesting thing. This is uh, you remind me of something else. There's also painting with smoke, and you might want to look at that. There's a guy who takes um, portrait or like takes like a um, a canvas and then has a lighter and then will draw with smoke and get, creates these beautiful like charcoal drawing effects using the soot from the lighter um, as it's coming off the flame. Uh, it seems a little dangerous, but you should uh, take a look at that. And if nothing else, have a really entertaining video to watch for a little while. It's beautiful stuff, beautiful work that he's been able to do. Um, uh, uh, Burn says, moving to my phone so I can multitask. Be right back. Don says, uh, have you ever done the paper balls over the shoulder trick? If you did, how did it go? I uh, yeah the um, yeah that's that's a Slidini effect, um, which is just fabulous and, and hilarious. And yes, I have done that in certain circumstances, in close up situations. I have I don't think I've ever performed it on stage, but I have done like 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 rolled up napkins in the restaurant, and then you just you, know, you just uh, doing the thing, and it's hilarious, and it works really well. It, you know your timing has to be good. You know it's uh, you should practice it as much as you can because you were trying to pull off something pretty bold um, and you have to know where that paper is going to land. And if it's going to make a sound, that's always important because you don't want to like, you know, um, it's like, imagine like you were throwing a wrench, right? Look, Oh, the wrench. It's, oh, and then the wrench goes clang, right? Like, yeah, we all know that you just chunked it behind you, you jerk. So <laughs> it's important to, uh, to think about the, the ball of paper, like a wrench and what, what kind of sound it would make when it hit stuff. Cause you, you need to have that kind of, uh, directive moving forward to make it deceptive. You don't want the people to be able to hear it. But yeah, it's hilarious. It's fun. Um, I like to try to make sure that every trick that I'm doing, though, is good-natured and doesn't make somebody look foolish or feel foolish. Um, you know, I, there's. it's very easy to do that trick and go, ah, oh, you're wrong. You're, you're, uh, look at, look, and then everybody point and laugh at the fool who can't see something right in front of them. You can't you can't perform it that way. So you have to find a way if you're going to present that trick that you do it um, with heart and with warmth and with care to the person who has come up and decided to help you. Um, you know, treat them well <laughs> and make sure they get to be in on the joke in some way too. Okay, don't make don't make a joke out of them. That's not cool. Um, you don't want to have somebody come up and give you free, free labor to come up and do your show for you and then make them look like a like a, a buffoon. That's 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 rude. So don't do it. Um, but yeah, it's a great trick and it's very funny and it does describe um, very well machinations and magic that uh, that make it work. So uh, it's a fun it's a fun way to ex to have an exposition on on sleight of hand and misdirection and and kind of explain to an audience how that works in a visual way. Let me catch up with what we're doing here so I can make sure I'm responding to your comments. Um, uh, uh, JNC Milliker uh, has a question for Burn. Okay, so I'm going to skip that. It, when your channel gets bigger, you can set up a pay option that highlight comments or questions. Yeah, like that's called a super chat um, where, yeah, that people will be able to pay in for me to uh, take their questions. Yes, that would, that's something that will come uh, later. I think I need to be at 10,000 subscribers for that. Um, also at 10,000 subscribers, I also believe I get the ability to do um, uh, up to, like, I forget what they call it. They have a name for it. But basically what it is, is like a little video clip I can just record anytime and then it stays up for 24 hours. It's kind of like if you join me on Patreon, there's something called Lens uh, where I can uh, shoot a short video and then it will blast out to my subscribers um, and and stay up for like 24 hours to watch it. But it allows you to do like little quick video updates. Like, hey, I'm at a coffee shop right now. I'm about to meet so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. About to do our interview with uh, Diamond Jim Tyler here. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions for him, you know, hit me up on Twitter, something like that. Those little cute, uh, quick uh, things. Of course, I do that with, with, with Lens right now through Patreon. So if you're a Patreon, do on the regular. Um, or, yeah, eventually I'll get that uh, type of thing through YouTube as well. So, yeah. Let's see. I want to make sure I'm catching up with your guys' comments because I see the, the thing thing ticking like this, and I know I'm with you guys. Um, burn Groove says, nope, never heard of that before. Not uh, for me. Kickstart a deck. Burn. 
Yeah, you know, that is something that I'm thinking about doing, actually. I don't know if I'm going to Kickstarter it or if I'm just going to straight up just make it. Because um, I don't have, the thing is, I don't have, <sighs> my my reach is extending my grasp right now. I have very large ideas about what I would like to do eventually on this channel, but I have to put the work in first. I've got to pay my dues before I can do that, which means I need to get to a certain point before I can start thinking about that. I know I have some very dedicated and wonderful fans here already on the channel, and it would be so cool if we were already at the point of me doing, uh, you know, custom decks and doing like meet and greets like uh, like Brian's doing with Scam Nation or was, I think he's still doing with, with the Scam Nation or Modern Rogue. Or, or, you know, here's a merch store where here's a bunch of custom, uh, you know, merchandise that you can't find anywhere else. And it's cool, crazy, gadgety things. Those are all things that I'm thinking about and have in the back burner of my mind um, that will happen at some point as I move forward. But I need a large enough audience of people who are willing to to buy those things to make it economically viable to do so. If I started, if I kickstarted a deck right now, uh, what would end up happening is like, you know, like, you know, maybe, maybe 10 or 15, maybe 20 people off my audience might go try to fund that deck, but that won't be nearly enough what I would need to get that deck, uh, you know, running. Um, I could try to open a web store, but the cost of, of merchant service fees and, and, and listing fees and the website itself and all these kinds of things, or, or if I'm wholesaling uh, the cost of, of purchasing the products and then storing them, would not offset uh, my the the income would not offset the overhead at the moment. I need a larger pool of people um, before I can do any of those things. Um, so it's 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 coming along. I've, I'm pretty much at the cap of what I can do right now, which is donations or uh, Patreon, which is fabulous. You get all kinds of extra benefits for that, or a Teespring account where you get some of my merch. <clears throat> merch, which I'm also going to be trying to update that store with new designs soon, um, since I've got all this time. And then, of course, I have an Audible sponsorship where, um, if you get a, uh, if you try out Audible um, using my 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 code, um, then you guys get uh, all kinds of cool benefits for that. I think you get like a month free, and you get a book and two Audible originals. And then uh, Audible says, "Hey, thank you to to me." and it helps support the show too. So if you haven't already signed up for that, that's something that you can go do right now is uh, go check out Audible. I use Audible all the time. I, well, I, even now, yeah. But uh, especially whenever I'm like doing long car drives, when I was driving down to, to Austin and back and forth, I think I've made like four trips back and forth to Austin now to do different videos. Um, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of listening to music in the car. Some people are, I, I, Sometimes I do. Um, it's usually sing-alongs with my son, but most of the time when I'm driving, I need to want to learn. I want to be entertained. I want to whatever. Um, I'll, I was listening to a book called Seven Eves on my way to and from there. It's a neat book. Um, I won't go into that here, but uh, yeah, if you haven't tried out a, a, a Audible subscription yet, you definitely should because you'd be helping out this channel and and uh, you get something cool out of it. So. <sighs> duh, duh, duh. But the Kickstarter deck, yeah, not not there yet. Not not the area. Uh, yes, burn. Yes, burn. Uh, uh, so let's see, Jane C. Milliker, burn. Oh, see, that's that's for burn. Cedric is here, and Elizabeth had to go. Uh, Elizabeth, if you see this later, thanks for thanks for being here. We had a good night, or you have a good night, and uh, good luck uh, when you start uh, school online real soon. And uh, Cedric, thank you for being here. Cool to see you. Um, we need to communicate more about the leather work that you have. I've been uh, inundated, as you might or may not know, with uh, a lot of work I've been trying to create for myself. Did a live stream on uh, Facebook the other day, um, magic live stream, and that went really great. And uh, but I, that was that took up the whole day, and I have not had much time to look at or do much more thinking about uh, the leather work that you're doing. I did see, and if you guys, the, we were talking about Cedric earlier. He's one of the leather workers who watches this channel uh, along with Roth Games. 
and he's got some cool stuff he's making um some some cool like belt pouch leather things where you can store your your uh, um coins or or extra cards or whatever and i don't know uh hey if uh if you could uh cedric if you could leave a a link or where i could tell people or like, uh, on social media or whatever your your tag i would really love if you left that so people can go check out what you're doing if you are into showing them what you're what you're working on right now maybe they can give you some ideas too uh, you can also share that on the facebook magic minute fan page with their links in the comments justin the moderator is helping with that and you can um pool the community see if anybody's got some good ideas and kind of can can kind of a uh, crowd think it man i hate this I hate this uh not focusing camera okay um Let's catch up with the comments here. We are glad Alex Pandrea lost the beard, uh, and only a select few can rock a beard. I have a beard. I don't know. How, how do I look? Do I look beardy? Yeah? You like the beard? Yeah? My wife will let me shave it, so it doesn't matter if you like it or not. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let's see. Where, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Once again, I did not hear what link you wanted. Uh, you can design your emojis too. I need to learn about this stuff. You guys got some. You guys got some knowledge I don't have. Jane C. Milliker, I heard that YouTube takes three percent of super chat donations. YMMV. I don't know what YMMV means, but here's the thing. You know, let's let's do this. I want to I want to run an experiment with you guys uh, because I hear a lot of. I work with a lot of entertainment agencies and destination management companies, which whenever I'm working with them, they effectively are like entertainment agencies. This, this is what quote the um, client with our amount that we we need to make on top of that. So we're going to, you know, however much percentage above whatever you said. And then that's what the actual people get as a quote. They put it out there and then people hire you or not. And, and a lot of entertainers get really mad about this and go, why are they on this? They're, they're taking money out of my... No, they're not. You told them how much you wanted and that's how much you're going to get paid. And if somebody else gets uh, you know, a cut of that, well, they should because they put the whole thing together for you. They utilize their network, their contacts, and uh, did all the paperwork for you. All you got to do is sign a contract and show up. Um, I'll gladly pay somebody to do that. And that's something that, that uh, you know, a lot of entertainers get mad about. I'm like, why are you getting mad about that? You quote whatever you want, and then they pitch it. And if you get the show, you got exactly what you asked for. Why are you getting mad? Now, in this case, you know, if uh, YouTube is taking 20, 30% or whatever off of your tips, so what? They own the platform. I would get zero if, uh, if they didn't provide the platform for me to have in the first place. So why well, get pissed about it? They're offering a service and they are the ones, they are the vehicle that connected me together. Uh, you and you and me together. So why would I get mad about that? I'm not mad about that. Good for you. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a little bit high, a little bit steep, but, uh, and I don't know if that's even true. I, I, I don't know what YouTube takes out, but in that case, so what, you know, um, it's money you wouldn't have had otherwise. So I don't get too mad. Uh, let me catch up with you guys. Um, YouTube charges for everything, yeah. Uh, JNC Milliker, Etsy, you pay cheap per listing and then percent of sales. Make Svengali decks, Blush decks, maybe uh, make them readily available decks. I'm charging, give an unlisted link to a tutorial. Sounds like fun, Cedric. JNC Milliker, a hidden pocket and a belt. Now that is my mind racing. Yeah, your mileage may vary. Okay, thanks for the, thanks for the, um, the clarification. I wasn't familiar with that term, but I am now. Um, Gentlemen and ladies, if you are, if there are any ladies about, um, I think we're just about at the end of the live stream tonight. Um, I've got a, a baby boy I've got to put to bed. Um, he has been having a really weird swing and sleep schedule with with um, with everything going on, and 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 uh, has not not been going to bed at a good time. And I'm I'm working really hard and I'm putting setting him back on a good schedule. So I'm going to go do that, uh, and then hopefully if he goes to bed, then I'll get to. Spent a few minutes just kind of conversing with my wife and talking with her and see how her day was because we haven't got to do much of that today. Um, 
but uh, guys, uh, things to tune for, kind of the recap of the very end of here, this video. Um, if you want to and you can, uh, you know, some things you can do to help out since I am not making any money right now except for, uh, you know, PayPal donations or um, Patreon uh, membership and Teespring. And uh, there's links in all the comments for all that stuff. And you go to any of my videos, you'll have a list of all those things. If you want to, you're in a position to. Um, those really do help. They add up really fast and it has been helping keep me stable and the lights on and uh, kept what little hair I have left from turning gray. So I'm grateful for all those who have helped already. Thank you very much. If you can, great. I would love if uh, if you would pick up a t-shirt or something like that. It would certainly go a long way towards helping me. Also, I will be doing a video, uh, another live stream, this time a close-up show. Uh, probably in the next week or two as I'm working that stuff out. So if you want more information about that, definitely check me out on the Magic Minute Facebook fan page where I will have updates on that as we get closer and closer. Uh, I may need a guinea pig to help me uh, work through some of the technology and make sure that everything's working well. So I might need to FaceTime with somebody and I'll pick somebody from the Facebook Fit Minute or the Facebook Magic Minute fan page. Oh, man, I got I to gotta standardize how I say that so I don't keep bouncing around. Thank you all very much for being here tonight. I had a blast hanging out with you. Um, I'm always sad at the end of these whenever I have to leave and I won't get to talk to you all again for a long time or feels like a long time. Um, thank you all for being here. I hope that you guys stay safe. I'm praying for you and your families and for the health of everybody that this uh, goes over soon. If you guys are having uh, running into the same financial issues that I am with, with the closing of different industries and economies, I am um, praying that uh, you find comfort and solace in that and then and that um uh everything uh comes out okay in the end for you thinking about all of you i'm concerned for all of you and i hope that you all are doing well and that your families are doing well and i will see you guys in a very short week uh which will feel like longer to me uh i'm gonna miss y'all um but i hope you have a good one and i'll talk to you soon cheers